Today we're going to talk about lists of CE marking directives and regulations in the EU. Okay, so... So, uh, <laughs> nowadays, uh, I have seen my many products out uh, there the CE mark uh, for the product like my mouse or the other electronic device. But uh, what does that mean? Um, so, when a product has a, a CE mark, CE label, it means that it uh, this product um, conform to the health, safety, and environmental protection uh, requirements mm. required by the European Union. But it does not um, necessarily mean that this product are, uh, is compliant with the um, um, manufacturing um, safety manufacturing requirements. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, is the C mark only applied to you know certain category of product? Yes. Uh, actually, not all the products uh, require CE marking CE mm. label or allowed to be. Um, affects the ACE label. Uh, only um, <coughs> certain products that are uh, subject to one or more than one of the 25 um, CE marking directives mm -hmm. that are required or allowed to be CE marked. Okay, but uh, can you give me some examples like what kind of uh, products will be covered by the CE marking? Um, okay, so um, um, generally speaking, there are consumer products mm -hmm. and like uh, medical devices mm -hmm. and machinery and or other non-consumer products like um, uh, transportation no system. But that's not consumer <laughs> products. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I heard you say about medical device, uh, especially in this time, like the COVID nineteen. Like, mm -hmm. so uh, what kind of medical device need to be CE marked if I want to import those kind of product to EU? Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, like face mask. Face mask. Yeah, like mm -hmm. um, N ninety five, N hundred, okay. and also um, um, medical gowns, mm -hmm. surgical gowns, and also uh, surgical gloves and medical gloves. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So again, now like uh, the medical device, uh, we need to comply with the same directives. And, uh, but more often than I see uh, the electronic device, uh, they mo most of them like they carry the CE marking. So uh, may I ask, like, how about, for example, like the, uh, the AC adapters, and then also for like some device that has a Wi-Fi enabled or Bluetooth enabled device? How about that? Yes. Um, for um, AC adapters, uh, one of them. It actually depends on the um, product specification and mm -hmm. the uh, um, functions that your products um, contain. For example, uh, if your products are um, uh, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi enabled, mm -hmm. then uh, um, it might be, if it is, uh, such products are regulated by a radio equip equipment mm -hmm. directive. And for AC adapters, uh, one of the uh, applicable directives uh, mm -hmm. is LVD, which is low voltage directive. Mm, I see. So, uh, Imaris, I, uh, so uh, do you mean like uh, I just need to fix the AC mark on the products and then I'm good to go? No, that's not correct. Okay. Because um, um, in order to import uh, your products to uh, um, any member states in the European Union, mm. um, uh, merely a C mark is not enough because a uh, C mark, uh, having a C mark on your product does not necessarily uh, guarantee that your products are compliant with um, um, applicable uh, standards or legislations. Mm -hmm. It only means that your products are. Um, it only means that your products are um, complied with the legislation, le legislated requirements, mm. right? So, uh, 
other than the CE mark, you might also need to um, have your product tested mm -hmm. in a, from in a reputable uh, testing company, and also you might need to have um, um, other documentation and um, labeling. Your products might need to uh, comply with the uh, applicable labeling requirements. Mm -hmm. Right. I see. So can I say like uh, the C marking is just like uh, indication of uh, showing that the products uh, has fulfill, fulfill all the requirements under the C directives. Mm -hmm. So it's just a indication. But on top of that, you still need to comply with the labeling requirement and other documentation requirements. Right. Can I say that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see. So. Uh, I guess now we have a basic understanding about the C directives and then uh, so uh, yeah thank you for sharing today and then, uh, thank you for asking me questions <laughs> yeah no problem it helps me to understand more about the C directives so, mm -hmm. as well so yes uh, if you want to know more about uh, the topics that we just mentioned uh, you can click the link below and then we you can check more details about uh, through our your articles it's not mine so um, and also please feel free to come visit our website and then we will show more and more knowledge about the compliances and uh, we will see you in the next video yeah. don't forget to if you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and yeah. so you can get more compliant product compliant videos and okay. articles. thank you see you next time see bye you next time.